from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, our third tropical system of the season heading our way starting late tomorrow night and continuing through the first half of the weekend. And this one looks like it could be the wettest of the three along with some wind, but at this point, not really concerned about severe weather. And hopefully you had a chance to enjoy today. The last really dry one we'll have for a while. A little warmer than normal. 61 this morning, 82 this afternoon. We're still weather aware for Friday. We've been telling you that all week as the rain is really set to increase later tomorrow night and continue through much of the day Friday and then diminish some on Friday night. We could see rain totals anywhere from an inch and a half to four inches, maybe even more in our far southern counties, along with some gusty 30 to 35 mile per hour winds on Friday afternoon. We had a little rain out there late this afternoon, but that has dried up. Just false returns on live Doppler radar. The last of the showers are fading away over Wayne and Edwards counties and will be dry until tomorrow afternoon. A few locations did pick up significant rain late this, this afternoon, including northeastern Wayne County and a little cell right along the uh, Webster Hopkins County line between Nebo and Providence dropped about an inch of rain. But we're going to get much more than that over the next uh, several days. Our tower camera out of downtown Evansville. It's our touristy view looking out off the top of Fifth Third Bank. A pretty comfortable night at 65. Dew points at 57, so lower than last night. And the winds are calm with temperatures now falling through the 60s. And we're going to wind up somewhere in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. So on Storm Tracker, we've got upper level lows spinning to the southwest. And that's really not going anywhere. It will do battle with Haleem as that system comes up for from the southeast and the two will merge into one a very unusual situation which means the models may not do a, a really good job modeling how this is all going to play out so we'll watch them but we're not seeing any real significant trends or changes here over the past 24 hours helene is certainly intensifying now into the southeastern gulf of mexico winds are up to 85 miles per hour the water here is very warm so we're expecting rapid intensification into a category four hurricane this is the new track just in from the Hurricane Center. Has it tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock with 130 mile per hour winds bearing down on the Big Bend area here of the Florida Panhandle. Now, the worst will miss the resort areas from Panama City west to Destin. They'll be on the favorable side for less wind and less storm surge. But Appalachia Bay, right there, could experience what the Weather Service is saying an unsurvivable storm surge of 20 feet pushing into that area. So they're hoping everybody is getting out of that location and it's still going to be a hurricane into southwest Georgia barely weakening to a tropical storm as it passes almost right over Atlanta late Thursday night and Friday morning winds still at 60 miles per hour so they could have gusts up to 70 miles per hour in Atlanta on Friday morning and that could cause all kinds of travel delays at the airport and then Helene makes a hard left into the Nashville area Hopkinsville by Friday evening and then meanders around far southwestern Kentucky through the weekend and by Sunday afternoon it is still over here in southern Kentucky continuing to weaken but keeping that rain lingering through much of the weekend and you can see the long track that's going to make now here's the latest timing with future tracker here we're fine really through a good deal of tomorrow could be a few showers tomorrow afternoon but the rain really ramps up tomorrow Tomorrow night, especially as we head after midnight, steady rains falling here by 2 a.m. And it looks like rain all day long on Friday. Not expecting much, if any, lightning, but gusty 30 to 35 mile per hour winds wet for the football games. The rain diminishing some into Saturday, but at 7 a.m. Still a good deal of rain through the area, slowly spinning down as we head into Saturday night. And our model here has a solid two to three inches of rain across the entire tri-state by late Saturday afternoon. But overnight, Partly cloudy temperatures into the upper 50s. A few showers tomorrow afternoon, 74 to 80. The rain ramps up later tomorrow night, continues all day Friday. We're weather aware for the rain and the wind. Still a 70% chance of lighter rain on Saturday. We begin to dry out Sunday. Much nicer weather for next week. Okay, thank you, Wayne.